We go to the top of the first inning at Pope John, and Alex Zuber leads off the game with an opposite field single to left, but Blair Academy is unable to score. All right, bottom of the first, and after Christina Marinaro was hit by a pitch, she comes around to score on this RBI double to left field by Aileen Burgos, and Pope John takes a 1-0 lead over the Bucks. Pope John pitcher Caitlin Whalen was on her game as she registers one of her 10 strikeouts to end the top of the second. We move to the bottom of the second. Watch Jessica Torciello blast this double to the left field corner for Pope John, but she was stranded and remains 1-0 Pope John. Okay, top of the third, and Blair has something cooking with the runner on third, but Whalen gets the fly ball to right, and Ashley Mae puts away to protect the Lions' one-run lead. You want to see some blazing speed, folks? Well, watch Kristen Carter and Pope John beat out a ground at a short for a base hit to get the Lions going. Pope John would eventually load the bases, but Blair pitcher Ali Magistro rears back and gets the big strikeout to end the threat and keep it a 1-0 game. We move to the bottom of the fourth, and Brooke Powers wastes no time adding to the Pope John lead here as she hits this monstrous solo blast to deep left, and the Lions take a 2-0 lead. Okay, Blair is looking to get a rally going here as catcher Kelsey Stevens knocks this clean single to left with two outs in the top of the fifth, but once again the Bucks were unable to score. And the reason why, watch this nice play on both ends on this ground of the third as Jessica Torciello and Brooke Powers end the inning in style for the Lions. Pope John keeps tacking on to its lead here as Powers again comes up big, this time with a ribby single to left to drive home Caitlin Whalen who had doubled, and it's 3-0 Pope John. And the Lions make it 4 nothing here on this bunt by Ashley May as Powers scores from third for Pope John. Okay, here's the big hit of the game, folks. Watch Aileen Burgess put a charge into this one as Blair left fielder Heather Britt shows some great hustle bursting through the fence, but to no avail, and it's a three-run bomb for Burgos, and Pope John now has a 7 nothing lead. And it stays 7 nothing as Whalen works a 1-2-3-7, and the Lions cap an impressive win over a very good Blair Academy team at Pope John High School. We did really well. We had a lot of offense behind us, so. It was good, we really needed it. Um, we haven't been hitting as good as today. Today was really nice, so we just connected. It was good. We really needed it. Um, we started off the season kind of rough, and I think we've been doing a little better. Um, and slowly but surely, we're coming together, so. Uh, Caitlin pitched great, our defense was great, and we got some good hits today, so. Pope John pitcher Caitlin Whalen was on her game today. She only gave up two hits and she had 10 Ks. I was just mixing up my pitches. Everything was working. <laughs> Kate has been doing great lately. She started off a little rough and uh, we were a little worried about that, but she has been making a huge comeback. So we're really happy to have her and she's pitching awesome. So When Blair Academy put the ball in play, Pope John's defense was up to the challenge. My team was behind me 100%. Like I couldn't have done it without them. Sophomore Brooke Powers also had a home run for the Lions, a bomb to deep left field. The first two kind of scared me. I was like, oh my God, I'm going to strike out again. But it was inside pitch. I just got a hold of it. It was good. I liked it. Brooke has, has struggled this year. Um, but uh, like I said, the, uh, she's been staying for extra batting practice. And uh, we've been working on it to get pull her hands through and get her hands inside the ball. And uh, today it showed uh, that she's starting to really come on now. Aileen Burgos had a huge day at the plate. She had an RBI double and then a big three-run homer for the Lions. I think I had two strikes on me, and uh, I just saw it come in. It was high and over the middle, and I actually didn't think it was going to go as far as it did. It, I thought it was going to be a short pop-up to the outfield, but I guess uh, I got a little more of it than I thought. So. Aileen, we, um, we moved her hands back a little. She's been hitting all year, but she's been hitting, uh, you know, singles and, and, and all. But uh, we moved her, we adjusted her hands this week, and it seems to have given her much more power. This past week and a half, the Lions have really turned things around, according to Coach Frank Canning. The last week and a half, we've really been starting to come on. Our defense has been pretty solid the last week and a half, and our pitching is coming along. And on our hitting, we really worked on hitting today, uh, this whole week. Uh, Luckily, we had Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday off, and we just worked on hitting, a lot of hitting. And I think it showed today, even though at the beginning we didn't uh, get to hit, you know, with men on base. But uh, we're capable of uh, hitting, being a good hitting club. Pope John will be playing in the 100 and Warren Sussex Tournament this week against Hackettstown, and the Lions hope to do well. I hope we win it, you know. It would be nice. We've been working good, so I hope so. We're excited. We're excited, and uh, we're going to try to take it all. Um, 
we're going to start off big and uh, hopefully we'll get far. They have an excellent pitcher. Uh, I've seen her pitch in other years and I expect a, a really tough game from her. But like I keep telling our girls, respect everybody, fear nobody. And I think this group is starting to learn that right now.